Passing the speech check at the library entrance intercoms reveals that Mayor Hildenbrand's six-digit code to access the library is 123,456. Bypassing the library entrance intercoms, by lockpicking either the library's main entrance door or the entrance door from Copley Station, will result in all turrets in the library being hostile. The turret's allegiance cannot be changed with total hack, although two of them can be shut down, meaning they will be permanently hostile after this point. Attacking or being detected by a turret will then cause all protectrons to also become hostile. If the sole survivor lingers near the small master locked storage room in the northwest corner of the library, approximately 20 super mutants and mutant hounds will begin to attack in multiple waves from the two entrances. Triggering the super mutant attack when the turrets are hostile towards the player character is likely to become very messy very quickly. The turrets will almost certainly target the sole survivor should one decide to enter the fray, resulting in the protectrons also targeting the player and making for quite a battle. Using a jetpack, one can find a dead Brotherhood of Steel initiate on the roof. Curator Given's terminal logs mention Dolan's suggestion to compress the archives and imply the player character can further our cause which seems to point to the large computer in the computer room with the bobblehead, but no further clues are found. On PC, if one turns clipping off, using the console command TCL, and walks through the computer and wall, a BPL mainframe terminal can be found floating in midair directly behind the bobblehead. For console players, using a jetpack to fly through the skylight may allow access to the hidden terminal. Upon using the terminal, one is asked if one wants to compress data to holotape, Selecting, yes, will award experience and eject the BPL compressed data, holotape, which can then be found in the miscellaneous section of the inventory. The quest event ID is listed as DN011 overdue books, with stages of 0 and 1000. Stage 1000 gives the player the holotape and XP, and changes the terminal to state the data has been compressed. Whether the terminal being inaccessible was a level designer's oversight or intentional is not known. It is also not known whether the holotape serves any purpose elsewhere in the game.